China has played down fears that its long March 5B rocket could hit a populated area or a plane in flight but there is no shortage of problem debris in orbit. Sometime this weekend the upper stage of a Chinese Long March 5B rocket will plunge back to Earth and most of it will burn up on re-entry, but perhaps not all. Military experts in the US expect the booster stage to come down on Saturday or Sunday, but have warned it is difficult to predict where it will land and when and how much material might hit the ground, or if it could knock a plane out of the sky. The Chinese government, perhaps predictably, is playing it calmly. The probability of causing harm to aviation activities or on people and activities on the ground is extremely low, the foreign ministry spokesman, Wang Wenbin, said on Friday. But the fiery fate of the booster, wherever it comes down, speaks to the larger issue of space debris and space sustainability, especially as space becomes a target not just for national space programs but also increasingly the private sector. Under international treaty, private space actors, who are expected to put 45,000 satellites in low Earth orbit over the next several years, are under the legal responsibility of their host nations. Add to that, an estimated 9,300 tons of space junk that's already orbiting the planet and the issue of space collisions and debris pollution is an issue of concern. Last month, mission controllers at SpaceX headquarters in California warned orbiting astronauts to put on their spacesuits and get back in their seats because a piece of space debris could strike the capsule. Previously, a piece of paint the size of a fingernail struck the windscreen of a space shuttle, piercing two of three layers of glass. Space debris has been known for a while, but now you have more competition in space. You don't just have two space-faring nations. The Chinese are very significant as is the European Space Agency, among others. When you have more actors and more stuff, it gets more complicated, said Joanne Gabrinowicz, a professor at the National Center for Remote Sensing, Air, and Space Law at the Mississippi Law Center.